Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. Also, if you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Meg The Stallion is at it again. One of her ex-employees, somebody that used to work for her, is claiming that he slapped her around, slapped, well, slapped him around, and made him watch her have sex with another woman. I got a video I want to play for y'all, and I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go! The rapper in a foreign country... Hip-hop star Meg Thee Stallion is being sued by a former cameraman who accuses her of harassment and a hostile work environment. The cameraman Emilio Garcia says he was trapped inside a moving vehicle with the rapper in a foreign country while she had sex with a woman right next to him. Megan Thee Stallion denies these allegations. NBC News Entertainment correspondent Chloe Malas joins us now. So, Chloe, a lot of... Yeah. Like crazy allegations in this lawsuit, including Garcia saying that Meg the Stallion told him, quote, don't you ever discuss what you saw. What else is he claiming? So in this lawsuit, he says that he endured emotional distress and that his job was affected and that eventually he didn't have a job anymore with Meg the Stallion after this alleged night that took place in June of 2022 in Ibiza, this island off the coast of Spain. Um, and like you said, he says that he was in this car, you know, he had been working for Megan the Stallion for a few years as a cameraman and that he witnessed Megan the Stallion allegedly taking part in a sex act with another woman and that the next day Megan the Stallion allegedly said did you see what happened don't ever speak of that again and he says that she allegedly fat shamed him and berated him and docked mm -hmm. his pay out of nowhere and he says his life just became you know a nightmare and so now he is suing and her attorneys, um, Alex Spiro, uh, he's a top attorney here in New York. They've released a statement saying that this is just a money grab, that they will money see grab. this through in court and that it's absolutely not true. And she personally hasn't said anything, has she, about this, like on her Instagram? Or no, like not yet. But as you might remember, last summer and, you know, before she was in the headlines for this Tory incident Lanes, between yeah. her and Tory Lanez, when Tory Lanez shot her in the foot, Tory Lanez sentenced last summer to 10 years in in prison um, and Megan the Stallion gave an emotional statement um, in court and so you know that is also one of the things that you had been hearing about her obviously not her doing and now obviously being hit with this lawsuit so it'll be interesting to see if other people who have worked with her will they come forward and defend her or have similar claims um, and will this potentially get settled out of court or eventually make its way inside of a courtroom mm -hmm. we will see entertainment correspondent Chloe Malas Chloe as always thank you thank you would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this Rooted in Music TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. Is this claim too far-fetched when it come, when you're talking about women like Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B, some of the nastiest women you ever want to meet? Now, as far as the bedroom action, as far as getting my freak on oh yeah i can see myself laying down with one but far as a real relationship nigga please as far as putting a a ring on it like beyonce say and making one of these hoes i mean uh, uh women my wife absolutely not long-term relationship and one night stand or a couple of nights or just my uh my little freak on the side sure I want to see what that tongue do, Cardi B is long. But the way these women are drugging men, while he's being drugged, he's like this. They, All the strippers are running through his pockets, taking his credit cards. Damn, the ultimate finesse. Now, this is why I say it's not too far-fetched because Meg Thee Stallion is bisexual. I mean, it's obvious that she like girls. This girl on girl, this lesbian, 
feminism stuff they got going on around here, boy, it's hot and heavy, especially in the the world of women. Oh, women have been kissing on women. I mean, they can't get enough for each other. They're going to defend each other. They're going to kiss on each other. They're going to make music together. God damn. But the thing is, like I said, it's not too far-fetched because Meg Thee Stallion has been involved in some things. She said some things. And it's her whole aura. You know, they've been doing a lot of stories about Meg, how she got famous. She's part of Illuminati. So when you cross into that mainstream, you into... You are into some serious stuff. I mean, the Hollywood and the music industry have been exposed and she's part... She's way up there, way up there. Blood sacrifices. Nicki Minaj, I believe she was hinting that Meg Thee Stallion sacrificed her own mom. She's hanging out with girls like Cardi B who drug men and steal their money. I mean... Is the story too far-fetched? No. But here's the thing, as a man, how you let a little girl, because I don't know, I look at women, little kittens, because I have to protect them. I don't ever look up to a woman, I always look down because I have to protect, I have to protect them. So, as a man, you are stronger than men. You couldn't just walk out the room. So that's where this story is kind of far-fetched. It's kind of crazy because how does a woman force you to watch her indulge in sexual relations with another woman. How does a little girl, I don't give a damn if she's six, but she's still my little girl because I have to protect her. Like I said, I'm the man of the relationship. I'm stronger, like whoop her ass. So as a grown man, you had a choice to leave. Then she said, uh, the news report after this incident went on, it's been nothing but harassment and, you know, making his job a living hell because he won't conform to the lifestyles and ways in which she thinks he should operate in. So it, 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 it's, it's kind of crazy. Meg Thee Stallion, she just out there, out there. And this man, I don't know, he's it's not too far fetched because Meg Thee Stallion's history, it is kind of crazy because you're a grown man. No grown man should ever allow a woman to just handle him like that. Whether it's uh, business related, or in personal relationships. You can't have your woman in a relationship or any woman in your life ragdoll you. They're going to talk about to that girl, yeah, girl, I kicked his ass last night. Uh, he tried to put up a fight, but uh, I ducked. I ducked twice. I came up. I gave that, I gave that fool two hooks. Bam, bam. And I gave him an uppercut and a straight punch. Boop, boop. And he was out, girl. Yeah, I whooped. I whooped him good. Come on, man. Could y'all flood my comments? Do y'all believe that this man is telling the truth? He was forced to watch Meg Thee Stallion get her freak on? Or do y'all believe Meg Thee Stallion? This, this, this is just another money grab, another broke, ashy individual trying to get rich off of a celebrity. 250, capital G. Rooted in Music TV, I'm gone.